God has a pretty simple formula for this institution, this covenant of marriage he created. Paul, for you, it is that you love Sarah selflessly, deep within her soul, because God has created her. The formula for marriage meets the needs that God has put within us. Sarah's deepest need is to be loved unconditionally, to always be cared for, to be devoted to, that you would cherish her, that she would always feel like she is the most important person on the planet to you. Sarah, once we began dating though, I realized I was wrong about you the first time we met. You are the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. The more I got to know you, the harder I felt for you. It's not a secret to anyone here that I'm a very indecisive person. I used to wonder how I would ever make the decision to say yes to committing my life to someone. But then you came along and you showed me love in ways that I never knew I needed. Saying yes to you was the easiest decision I've ever made. I promise to be the best father I can be for our current. I promise to love you unconditionally and always be faithful to you. I promise to support you through good and bad. I promise to always be a strong leader for you and our family. You are my best friend. You are my angel. I will love you forever. unconditionally and without hesitation and you make me the best version of myself by loving me just the way I am. Today, as I become your wife, I promise to put you and our marriage first every single day. I promise to love you for who exactly who you are today and who you will become as you grow. I will stand beside you no matter what obstacles come our way and hold your hand as we face them together. I promise to try to remember in every argument that we have, that we're on the same team, and that it's us against the problem, never us against each other. I promise to never take the time that we have for granted, and I promise that as long as I live, you will never doubt how much I love. Paul and Sarah, for the next 40 or 50 years, may your love for each other grow stronger by the day. May you lean and count on one another when one of you or both of you is weak. May you understand and believe what agape love is until the day you actually see it. Everyone needs someone to look up to. I certainly do. And if you two accomplish what I've just shared with you, many will look up to you as I already do. Paul is one of the funniest people you'll ever meet. His sense of humor never fails to make anyone laugh. He's confident, a good friend, and hardworking. He's selfless, he's kind, and he's really smart. You're all the things I could hope for and more for my best friend. You love Sarah to death, and you treat our girl like gold, and you have always treated her the way that she deserves. I know without a doubt that you will take care of her first. I'm so grateful she found you. And thank you, Hollins and Helen, for raising Paul to be the man that we love and adore. He's amazing.
We all know relationships aren't always rainbows and butterflies all the time, and these two have been through a lot. From battling Paul in grad school and all the other challenges life has thrown your way, these two have shown that when you really, really love someone, you can get through anything together, and you have. You two have always remained committed to one another, and your love has been unwavering. You really are the most consistent couple that I know, and you truly are a team and an unstoppable one. You continue to love each other like crazy, to laugh with each other and at each other, and that your life is filled with all the health, wealth, and happiness in the world. Cheers, and we love you all. Yeah.